So we have here the Knight of Water as the card on the bottom of the deck. And Knight of Water is about falling in love. Uh, it's about somebody coming in, um, offering romance, offering passion. Um, sometimes this can be about emotional overwhelm. Uh, this can be a Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces person. It doesn't have to, uh, but we'll take it as it resonates. We'll see what comes. Um, this could be the invitation also to a social event. So basically, it's something um, that brings joy, happy emotions, uh, spirituality put into motion. Knights are forward moving, generally speaking. Although my... Um, my coins, my earth, uh, knights can be slow. Right? Okay. <clears throat> this is uh, the energy you're operating in, the three of air. So there has been some kind of sadness that you've been experiencing, some kind of heartache. Uh, many decks, it looks like a heart, maybe not a Valentine heart, but like an organ. No, it is a whatever. But it's got three swords sticking out of that, which can indicate uh, third party, heartache, betrayal, jealousy. Um, <clears throat> anything that affects us gives us pangs in our heart chakra, those types of feelings. Um, but this is about possibly the need to forgive yourself or other people. Um, do remember if you need to forgive somebody um, or if you're asking for forgiveness, you know, forgiveness is not about saying that what the person did to you is okay. It's not about that. It's about saying, I don't want to carry the baggage from your bad behavior any longer. If we've done something wrong um, and we need to ask somebody else for forgiveness, we need to let go of their response as well. We may ask them for forgiveness for something or apologize, uh, but there does come a point where we cannot be responsible for what it is that whether they accept it or not. We clean our own side of the street, let them worry about their own side of the street, right? Keep your own side of the street clean. <clears throat> Now, coming into play is some fast-moving energy, lots of communication, lots of energy, forward movement, um, lots of things going on all at the same time. So this can be happening for you. Um, expect some passion to come into your life pretty quickly, right? Pretty darn quickly. This is coming in very soon, right? Now, there may be a tendency to feel some level of overwhelm that's coming on, too, um, because if we go from a place where we've been operating in a sad energy, sometimes we take time out, we might even withdraw to a degree. So if you, if you find yourself with all of the stuff going on, be very careful that you're taking some time to yourself to allow yourself time to absorb that, especially if you're kind of introverted and you recharge your batteries during alone time. You know, um, even if you're extroverted, be sure that you're giving yourself a good balance, whatever your balance, your personal balance is for you, um, so that you don't feel quite so overwhelmed when this quick energy starts popping in, because it will. It'll start coming in very quickly for you. Now, know that this energy is coming in, in part because some sort of faded energy is coming in here. This wheel is turning because spirit is saying so. This is Jupiter energy, and it can be very, very quick. But there's divine reason behind whatever this is. Something behind the scenes has been going on to give you this new fast-moving energy and this new opportunity that's coming in. With all of this communication coming in, though, and with all the things that are happening, you may be feeling a little bit overwhelmed and incapable of making a decision. You don't want to procrastinate, but you don't want to go so fast that you lose lose sight of who you are or what is in your best interest with all the choices that you've got coming in. So there's that. I, I feel like there's kind of a sense of conflict from you a bit. You want good things to happen, but you, you haven't really clearly defined what those are. Sit down with that pen and that paper. Sit down with your notepad on your cell phone, what, your laptop, whatever it is, whatever your style is, and sit down and really kind of um, parse that parse that out. You know, see what is it exactly that you're hoping to accomplish? What is it that you want to do? And allow yourself time to do it, you know, to figure it out. You can think about something for a very long time before you actually have to make a decision on it. But this quick moving energy is not going to want you to sit forever. There's going to be a passion coming in here. And that's going to be exciting, but it can be scary and daunting at the same time. <clears throat> So we saw the wheel, that's in your immediate past, or it could be something that's going to happen and, and slide into your past, but it's been going on. It's been going on for a while. 
Now, in your future, we see this creativity that's coming in, being a team player, recognition for high quality work. So you're moving from a three of air heartache energy to a manifestation energy, getting stuff done, you know, throwing yourself into work and into your business partnerships to try to get yourself through this hard time, especially with communication coming in. It could be that if you've been starting a business or something, it may start taking off the ground. You know, you may have a lot of orders coming in. You may have a lot of artwork that you're creating, whatever that is for you. There's going to be some level of passion with that, but cooperation and harmony. Getting along with others. Playing nicely in the sandbox. Now, the card representing you is the five of air, which can can be about bickering, petty squabbles, argumentation with other people. It can indicate inner conflict. And, and again, that's kind of what I'm sensing here, is that there may be some hesitancy to move forward because somebody hurt you in the past. Whether it's business, whether it's um, a social relationship, a lover, something like that. You may be a little bit hesitant here because of it. But part of this eight of fire energy that's going to be coming in here is this new exciting opportunity in your environment. Career advancement, a change your life now. Ace of fire can be somebody passionate coming in. This could be a passionate offer. This could be sexual. It could be career. You know, take it as it resonates. You're going to have some opportunities to do something and you're going to want to sit on your heels and hem and haw and be stubborn and say, eh, I don't know, I feel conflicted. It's going to come in fast, but doors that open often can close. So be careful that you're staying grounded, staying organized, right? Go for long walks in nature. Clear your thoughts. Drink herbal tea. You know, soak in um, Epsom salt baths, you know, or, or sea salt baths or, or whatever you need to do. That might create a weird skin situation. Whatever. Find out what is going to work for you, right? Transplant some plants or, or play with potted plants or, you know, take a pottery class, something like that, where you're getting, you're getting in it with dirt and mud and earth and elementals. <clears throat> Find your Taurus home in that, right? Because when this opportunity comes, you're going to want to be able to make a good decision for yourself. And you don't want to miss the opportunity. It looks like it's really positive. Collaboration, business orientation, but something that's, that you're passionate about at the same time that can bring you to a place of passion, which is the opposite of this crap. And it's a shift in the energy from that. So you don't want to miss that opportunity. But again, uh, you know, you don't, you don't want to fall for any crap either, but um, you want to weigh it out. Now, here's some of your hopes and fears. You may be hoping that somebody from your past is going to come back into your life. You may be romanticizing the past. You may be focused on the past, and that might be some of this energy here. You may have had a breakup or, or somebody who's passed away, um, and you're, you're thinking about that person a lot. You know, we go through grief and mourning and loss, and that's important to be, be sure that we're sensitive to ourselves and that we're doing self-care. We need to balance our memories of the past with our um, current events, too, because, again, we don't want to be... Um, we don't want to be stuck in the quicksand of the memories of the past that create our pain, uh, that we miss new opportunities that may be opening to us too, uh, through rumination and worrying and, and so on. Certainly, if you're going through grief, um, you're going to want to be careful that you may want to touch base with a grief counselor or get into a grief group. Sometimes hospitals have grief and loss groups. Um, if this is rumination or, or thought process about somebody from your past, um, like a past breakup or somebody that you used to be involved with, uh, that you're not with now, you know, again, that can still be a grief issue. So, um, be sure that you're taking care of yourself, whatever that means for you. And then <clears throat> your final outcome card is a queen of fire. This can be possibly an Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius person or somebody who's coming at that energy passionate. Lots of energy. They want to do things. They want to get stuff done. Again, this is that fire energy that we saw over here beneath you, right? That's the, the basis of the situation. And then right here in your environment, this new passion. Somebody may be coming into your life like a fire sign or somebody who's rocking you that way where you have a lot of passion in this new relationship or situation. Or this could be career and that you begin to feel passionate about a new venture that you're going on in a business way. For a lot of you, though, I really am thinking that there's a fire sign going to come in and rock your world. 
at least sexually for a while. I don't know. I'm not getting whether it's a soulmate or not. Uh, at this point, we may have to see that and save that for the January reading. But um, you don't want to miss that opportunity because you're in an air of grief. Um, or or you're focused on your, your loss and your lack because you may not recognize any advances that are in fact coming in, that person that's been eyeing you, possibly at work because we did see this three of earth and that has to do with cooperation and collaboration in a material plane, especially around um, work, material pursuit like that. So again, uh, for some of you, it could be a new business venture that's starting off. For some of you, it's that you're about to meet somebody new who brings some kind of passion in your life. And even if they're not the end all be all person for you, it may be the person that you need kind of the rebound to help you get through this situation. Again, I don't have the information that I would need to, to figure out whether this is going to be like a true love soulmate situation or whether that would be, um, somebody that would be a great distraction even uh, from some of that kind of stuff. And there's nothing wrong with that either. So, and I have a feeling though, too, because you Taurians, is that a word? You Taurus folks can be very, very intuitive and you know your gut and you know yourself on this level. And uh, I think that you will know uh, in relatively short order what that person's going to be for you. Right. You do have a good bullshit detector. You know, you do have a good um, sense of what is and what isn't reality. So um, <clears throat> with that in mind, I do want to get one of these Oracle cards for you that may help you um, in clarification, um, healing, self-care. Um, any of these other areas where, where we may need just a little bit, of, a little dose of wisdom even. You know, um, and if angels, spirit guides, and helpers might help us choose a card that um, will help Taurus from December 15th to the 31st, 2018, we would be greatly uh, appreciative of that. Very grateful for that. All right. Truth and integrity. So let me open up the booklet. So truth and integrity. <clears throat> You are guided to be very honest with yourself and to be true to yourself in all of your activities and actions. The angels say to you, let go of anything inauthentic and all activities that do not mirror your highest intentions for yourself. If something in your life isn't working, be willing to release it to God and the angels. When we open our hands and release unhealthful situations, the divine light can enter. Miracles always follow when we surrender troubling conditions. You'll find that the job, relationship, health issue, or other circumstance heals rapidly in ways that you could never have imagined. All along the way, the angels will perfectly guide you to actions that will either help you replace the situation with something better or heal it entirely. Expect a miracle when you decide to be true to you. What a beautiful card and how perfect to help you heal some of this heart energy, right? Some of this heart chakra energy right here uh, that may be hurting. Turn it over and trust. Journal, you know, write things like that down. Like, um, <clears throat> what would it look like if you were able to trust in that process? What would your life look like? How might you feel? Sometimes writing helps us clarify things too, so that we can see where it is that we have a problem letting go letting go of our um, desire not to trust even, right? Beautiful card. Beautiful card. It just really kind of wrapped up that, that piece at the end there. 